All right, thank you everybody. Thank you so much uh, for being here today on this uh, beautiful August day. A very special thank you to uh, Mike from Brooklyn Girl for having us all here. Really appreciate it. Um, it has been almost three months to the day that the City Council unanimously supported my proposal to bring more common sense solutions out of City Hall. So three months ago, we unanimously overhauled regulations that would allow restaurants to add a few tables uh, for full service and outdoor dining experience. So Brooklyn Girl today is the very first city, uh, Brooklyn Girl is the very first restaurant in the city to open up a sidewalk cafe under these new regulations. And as you can see, it's a single row of tables and it still allows a clear path of travel along the sidewalk. So they did not need to build a full barrier. Um, that often added thousands of dollars in additional costs, sometimes tens of thousands, and also took many, many months, if not, uh, I've heard of like two years, uh, in construction permit costs and delays and so forth. So this is a, a, a huge deal for restaurants to be able to very simply be able to add more dining, which adds more jobs, more, you know, more customers, more jobs. So this is really exciting. You can also see that there's no music, there's no smoking, and alcohol is only allowed if you have prior approval from the ABC. So here we have right in front of us a tangible example of our city council moving forward to bring some real common sense solutions and move San Diego uh, forward with less regulations. Uh, when the Restaurant Association first brought this problem to the council during Regulatory Relief Day, we studied it, we came up with a solution, and we implemented it. What we were really looking to do was to help out San Diego's smaller neighborhood restaurants. And like I said, uh, we reduced approval time and cost to maximize the guest experience. And in such beautiful weather like San Diego, it's a, it's a perfect way to achieve that goal. So if San Diegans want to you know, sit around dinner, discuss all the scandals at City Hall, they can now do it in a beautiful setting outdoors. <laughs> I'm very proud to have spearheaded this reform. I want to thank the Restaurant Association for bringing this uh, problem to my attention. I want to thank Council President Todd Gloria, who has been so supportive of the process, and we're right here uh, in his district. I, I know there's uh, many other restaurants that will be following suit. And so now, uh, here's our Council President Todd Gloria. Thank you, Lori. I uh, appreciate the chance to be here with you today, and I'm thrilled to be here in my council district celebrating the new Sidewalk Cafe at Brooklyn Girl. And if nothing makes the news tonight, just say Brooklyn Girl over and over again so they can come <laughs> to District 3. You know, Brooklyn Girl has been an extremely popular venue since it opened over a year ago right here in Mission Hills. Uh, and I know that when the proprietors were completing the restaurant, they intended to have a Sidewalk Cafe. Uh, but then they found out how much it would cost. Uh, business owners, whether they're new businesses or existing businesses, have to analyze the costs and benefits of making investments into uh, their companies. And until Council Member Zaff proposed some common sense solutions uh, to change city regulations, sidewalk cafes were costly prohib cost prohibitive for many restaurants. Uh, now, Brooklyn Girl can serve more people create more jobs. The sidewalk, as you see, remains accessible, and the neighborhood spirit here in Mission Hills, I think, is enhanced. Uh, regulatory reform like this are good for business, they're good for neighborhoods, and of course they're good for the city. And that's why you saw unanimous support for Councilmember Zaff's proposal when it came before the City Council. I want to thank Lori for being the, the initiative owner on this effort. We at the Council are looking for ways to, to uh, scale back regula regulations that don't make sense, that don't pass the common sense test. And she has been a great friend to both small businesses and to neighborhood enhancement. So Lori, thank you for your hard work on this. And to Mike, who had a lot of trouble trying to get through this, but he hung in there with us and you know, anything worth uh, doing takes a while, right? And it's been a while, but Mission Hills and Mike hopefully will be the beneficiaries. And I just wanna close by saying, as your council president, I welcome suggestions for other ways that the city can make it easier for to do business and to help strengthen our economy and create jobs. Uh, your city council is working hard on your behalf and I'm proud of the progress that we're making so far. Now, if I can turn it over to Mike, uh, right here from Brooklyn Girl. Remember, Brooklyn Girl on Goldfinch. <laughs> I'm putting both these people on my PR team. <laughs> I want to thank all of you for coming today. This is going to be a major event for the Restaurant Association here in San Diego. Uh, last year when I opened up my restaurant and I went to City Hall to be able to get my permit for outdoor dining, 
I was told it was going to be probably close to two months and almost $8,000 to put six tables outside. And in this day and age, it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever to spend that kind of money for six tables. When the average restaurant is making five cents on the dollar, you can't recoup that amount of money in any near term. So having waited a year, and thanks to Lori and Todd and other members of the city council, now it's $810 for the fee instead of 8000 and it took less than a week to get through city downtown instead of six to eight weeks. A dramatic difference and a perfect example of when somebody in city council says we're going to be business friendly, we're going to improve the way the city operates, we're here for small business. This is a perfect example of yes, they can do it. So on our behalf of the Restaurant Association, we're just ecstatic. I can't wait to be able to add more tables as time goes by. We've already hired three new employees, all three of which were on the unemployment lines when we hired them. And the additional tax revenue is going to be great for the city as well. So long term, it's a win-win for both of us. And I hope everybody wants to come down and try it. There's no smoking outside, but there is. we are pet friendly. And I think Mission Hills neighborhood is probably the largest pet uh, neighborhood in the whole city so I'm sure we're gonna have lots of puppies out here later on this week but again thank you all for coming and a special thanks to Lori and to Todd for doing a great job and making a small business uh, be more productive and hopefully better for the city as well thank you